Hey, walking off this court, what is a win like this as you guys close it out, close it out down the stretch say about this team and what you guys can do? Uh, I mean, it's just a game of runs. I like how we stay with it, the resiliency that we showed. We were down double digits a couple times. We was up, and then we let them come back twice, you know? So it was an up and down game, and we just kept fighting, and guys hit big shots and down the stretch. Kevin, uh, earlier this year, uh, Raptors rookie Christian Coloco said that he wore 35 in honor of you and you were his favorite player growing up. Uh, what does it mean to have a player, um, you know, wear that number in your honor? He said that? He said that uh, earlier this season, right when he was drafted. How old is he? Uh, 21, maybe? Man, that just shows that I'm getting old. Every time I hear stuff like that, I'm like, <laughs> all right, <laughs> you watch me grow up. All right, I mean, uh, you, you uh, watch me as you was growing up. I mean, shit, I just feel old. But I mean, I, I always appreciate stuff like that. I mean, you never know who's watching you when you're out there doing your thing. and. You want to inspire and ignite the whoever's watching in some way, some shape or form. So it's always cool uh, hearing stuff like that and uh, seeing him wearing my shoes tonight and 35. So that, I, that's pretty cool. Kevin, you guys are obviously still trying to figure it out offensively, but Toronto historically has a pretty tough defense to play against. What does it mean to just test your def test your offense against first the Pelicans and now the Raptors? Yeah, it's good. I mean, teams are going to scheme us and. You know, um, basically play playoff type defense against us because they they know we can score the ball, especially Kyrie and myself. We can score from all three levels, so they got to be a little bit more creative defensively. And I feel like every team in the league is going to do that. What they usually do on defense is going to go out the window when they play us. So um, we just got to be ready for anything. This team throw a two three, a one three one, a press, boxing one. So uh, it was good we was able to handle all that stuff and make plays. And they made some big shots down the stretch. I thought that was good defense, um, but they made big shots. And, um, you know, so I felt like we had the game under control, but you got to give them credit for knocking down shots, being a championship organization. I think you started 0-5 and then you finished 6 of 8. Just what, what happened to spur that? I, uh, I got to start off better. I think the first last two games, I, I take threes to start the game. That's not my game. I mean, especially the first shot I took was over a hand the first two games. So, uh, and then, you know, I'm fighting uphill after that, you know, I was trying to find a good look. And then I go, oh, for two. Now it's like, shit, you know, let me think too much out there to start the game. Just got to settle in. And that's what I usually do after that first quarter. So, you know, it's a journey. And I'm, I definitely don't want to keep starting off like that and having to, you know, fight my way back into, you know, 45 to 50%. So, um, you know, I'll figure it out. Kevin, you've been here as long as Nick, so maybe you've seen you know, some of what we saw tonight in open gym or whatever, but him look like the player he was in college. What do those wrinkles do to your offense with him, you know, the Euro step, driving downhill, attacking the basket, et cetera? Yeah, I mean, he had all of that stuff when he got here. He's just being more confident in using it. Coach trusts him, his teammates trust him, so he's going to go out there and do his thing. And sometimes you don't want to showcase all your skills early on, um, you know, because you don't know how to fit in towards the team. but. I think he's comfortable now, and you know we need him to be more and more aggressive. Um, you know, three of eight from the free throw line. We'd love to see him be six of eight, seven of eight. You know, I think he has that in him. Um, you know, so you see the progression in Nick, and uh, we're gonna need him to continue that going forward. Kevin, you were confident after the other night that Ben would get going at some point. What do you think was the difference for him tonight compared to the opener? Um. Yeah, he just got downhill, did what he, you know, he just played free, you know, he didn't think too much, you know, I think we're all a little uh, anxious to start playing, start the season last game, so you've seen that kind of, we had a better start to the game this this game, um, so I think everybody was just a little bit more relaxed and free, and, you know, um, he impact, impacted the game, you know, as much as he could tonight, 10 rebounds, 8 assists, 2 blocks, uh, you know, getting his hands on basketball. So, you know, we need that from everybody. But I think we're all we're, we're a little relaxed, even the coaches.